I'm one of the recipients of the 2011 Young Investigator Award. My research is in pleural pulmonary blastoma, which is a very rare form of childhood lung cancer. Never wanted to be a doctor since I was a young child. I didn't follow that path. Right after high school, I joined the military. I was in air traffic control in the Navy for five years. One night, about three o'clock in the morning, I, I had a little black and white TV that I was watching and there was an infomercial that came on um, for childhood cancers. Even to this day, I remember watching it and thinking that would be a great job. And everything, for some reason, seemed to really point me in the direction of, of medicine. And since I had been in the Navy, I actually could volunteer at the Seattle VA Hospital. And from there, I was given the opportunity to work in the oncology clinic, and that's how I came to be an oncologist. My two main interests in oncology have been rare tumor biologies and rare tumors in general. Without the support of the Conquer Cancer Foundation, researchers like myself who study rare diseases would not be able to do what we do without this necessary funding. Pleural pulmonary blastoma is a very rare type of childhood lung cancer. It's generally seen in kids less than six, year, six years of age. We've come to find out that this is more of a um, syndrome with almost 40% of the patients with pleural pulmonary blastoma and their family members have other associated diseases. So what we hope to get from this project is to describe the clinical phenotype of pleural pulmonary blastoma. We want to be able to um, tell these families what the incidence rates of these other associated diseases that are both cancerous and non-cancerous. In addition, this is a genetic disease, and my mentor, Dr. Ashley Hill, and her colleagues actually discovered the gene that's mutated in this, and that's called DICER1. We actually have and know of patients from five different continents, and we collaborate with international physicians um, from around the world. With all of the patients worldwide, which are approximately 350 patients with pleural pulmonary blastoma, 70% of them do have the DICER1 mutation at this time. What we hope to do at the end of this project is be able to define a um, new genetic test that can be done for early detection of these patients. And early detection is going to lead to improvement in overall survival. Probably the main thing that keeps me motivated as a pediatric oncologist is seeing the family and their children come to us for a cure and looking at the hope in their eyes and wanting them for me to be able to deliver that to them. When you donate money to the Conquer Cancer Foundation, you're not only impacting those children that um, have been impacted by childhood cancer in the United States, but globally as well. I'm a cancer survivor myself. I was diagnosed with breast cancer almost five years ago and I'm still in remission. So I think I have a unique perspective so I can really relate to my cancer patients. I had a mass that was easily felt um, and unfortunately one of the screening tools we do use for breast cancer did not pick up my mass on mammogram. So I think in relating to my patients with um, pleural pulmonary blastoma, we re really need to come up with a definite way to be able to test these children and their family members through uh, genetic-based testing. And I think what's critical to me and what happened in my own personal situation is being able to refine and um, define better ways for early detection. 